What's happening, folks? Comedian Pepper Lamb here with this week's Pepper's Picks. This is the football show where I let you know who's going to win, who's going to lose, and I make fun of everybody, whether they win or lose. I'm a comedian. It's what I do. Before we get started, I got to give you the disclaimer. This is for entertainment purposes only. That is it. If you lose money listening to my crazy self talk about football, that's your fault. It does not have anything to do with my job. All right? However, if you win money listening to my crazy self talk about football, you owe me money. Deal? Deal. As always, we start off with the good, the bad, and the ugly from the previous week. Big Brother came down and talked to me, and he said, Hey, no more discussion of spreads or what the guys in Vegas are doing. None of that, which is good. Because if y'all had listened to me last week, none of us would have a house right now. It was, I was, it was bad. So all we're going to do moving forward is let you know who I think is going to win and who I think is going to lose. Last week, I went eight and eight. For my standards, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So for the year, that puts me at 41, 22, and one. That's right. Y'all remember that tie in the first week? So stupid. So stupid. Anyway. Last week's good. I told y'all that the Giants was going to handle business. And I also told y'all that Dallas was going to get their first loss to New Orleans. Yeah, that was the upset special. Nobody wanted to believe it. Now y'all believe it. The bad, pretty much everything else. Uh, the Chiefs had to go on the road and actually play hard. I thought that was going to be a blowout, but nah, I guess it wasn't. Also, I still can't pick a Thursday night game to save my life. I'm 0-4 on the season. But we'll see how we do this week. The ugly, the Rams. What was, y'all was at home? What, what was that? They lost to Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay is still dead to me. All right? Every time I pick them, they act like they've never heard of football before. And then when I don't pick them, they act like they're the 49ers in the 90s. I don't, I don't get y'all at all. I don't get y'all at all. Hey, but that was last week. We're going to redeem ourselves this week. I don't like going 500. Let's go big or go home. With no further delay, let's get into the Week 5 NFL matchups. Thursday night game. I'm finally going to get one right. I'm telling y'all, this is it. It's my first Thursday night win of the season. L.A. versus Seattle. Seattle at home. Next up is Arizona versus Cincinnati. This is the ineptitude bowl. All right? Brought to you by the U.S. Congress and the U.S. Senate. Because neither one of these squads can get anything done. It's sad. In fact... All jokes aside, I think this might be the first NFL game with negative points. Yeah. So I'm thinking the Bengals at minus three and the Cardinals have minus eight. And if anybody remembers eighth grade math, that means the Bengals are going to win. Buffalo versus Tennessee. Yo, Buffalo, y'all had New England on the ropes last week and y'all just had some horrible play calling. Uh, so now you're going to go on the road to Tennessee and just flat out lose regular. Just regular flat out lose. Chicago versus Oakland. Yo, Khalil Mack is out here looking for revenge. Oh, all summer 19. Never dirty, not clean. Something I don't I don't, I don't know the words. I don't know the words. I just know Khalil Mack is out here going to destroy Oakland single handedly. He's gonna have eight sacks, two fumble recoveries, a pick six. I think he might throw himself a touchdown pass. He's going to go to that little dirty part of the field in Oakland where they play baseball at, hit three home runs. It's going to be disrespectful. Tampa Bay versus New Orleans. New Orleans was one of the few things I got right last week. Tampa Bay, you're still dead to me. New Orleans at home. Minnesota versus the New York G-Men. Yo, um, Vikings have some quarterback issues. And the Giants seem to have found their QB and are resurgent. And I still think they're going to lose. Sorry. Minnesota's only lost to a couple of divisional opponents. I think they can handle the Giants. The New York Jets versus Philly. This is my duff for show game. Yo, SpongeBob Squareface is almost back. Almost cleared, but not enough. And even if he was back, Philly's still going to win. Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Yo, Pittsburgh got full of themselves on Monday night by beating the lowly Bengals. And now they're going to go and a real team is going to come in and they're going to lose again. 
Yeah, I'm taking the Ravens on the road. New England versus Washington. This is this week's Why Are We Watching This Bowl? Brought to you by Transformer 7. Why, why are we watching this? I, why? New England. Jacksonville versus Carolina. Jacksonville keeps squeaking out games. And Carolina, uh, like I don't like fully trust y'all, but as long as Captain Underpants is still on the sidelines, I'm I'm going to ride y'all winning streak. Carolina at home. Atlanta versus Houston. Atlanta, you can't be trusted. Houston at home. Denver versus San Diego. And I know a couple of y'all are wondering, how come I still call them San Diego? Hey, if you haven't been watching the show, pay attention. Mama named them Clay. I'm going to call them Clay. This is always a tough divisional game, but San Diego's got day homie back. Gordon, fresh legs. I'm going to take them at home. Green Bay versus Dallas. Can Dallas possibly lose two games in a row? Upset special. That's right. I'm rolling with A.A. Ron Rodgers. Discount double check. Indianapolis versus Kansas City. Yo, this could have been the game of the week, but Indy, without their number one wide receiver, just fell all apart. Kind of like my fantasy football team. T.Y., get back in the game. Please. Kansas City at home. Easily. Cleveland versus 49ers. I have no respect for Cleveland until their quarterback, who is always talking trash, throws more touchdowns than interceptions. 49ers at home. Thanks for tuning in once again. I'm comedian Pepper Lamb. I'd like to give a big shout out to Soldier to Soldier Realty. You can catch them at their website down below. As for me, you can catch me at a comedy club. You can catch me emceeing a wedding. You can catch me rocking a corporate event, maybe hosting some kind of music event. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on YouTube. Hit subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. You will not be able to follow me on Snapchat because obviously I have a whole lot to do in life and I'm old. So it is what it is. Deuces.